quite windy today, very often is windy on this big reservoir. I'm off the mark, not a big perch, but nevertheless, it is my target species for today. So that's always a positive thing when you catch what you set out to tempt. I'm catching a few of these perch now, all about the same size, obviously a shell out there. So the key is to keep the bait going into that spot. Keep the fish keen, enjoy catching fish of this size, but also of course hope that something bigger moves in. I'm fishing a worm on a size 8 hook. I'll show you my rig and setup uh, shortly. I've just caught the second species inevitably on this venue. Depends on what you fish with, of course, bait-wise, but inevitably you will catch bream. And it's a very lively one as well. <laughs> Let's get this one back. That was a great fight for a few minutes. I thought to myself, that's a pike. Indeed it was, but it had taken this perch that I caught. And I don't know if you can see there, but you can just about make out where the pike had caught hold of the fish. As you can see, the perch put its dorsal fin up there to ward off the pike. It didn't work. However, the pike did let go of this particular fish right by the edge. The perch has now gone back to live and fight another day. Hopefully not too upset by that encounter with the predator. Anyway, before I cast out again, let me show you my setup. I've got eight pounds lying on the reel. Ideally, I would go for six, but that's what I've got on that particular reel and the rod that I've gone for today. It's a quiver tip. I'm fishing about 20 meters or so out into the reservoir. It's quite deep, so you need a little bit more sturdy tackle than my usual uh, eighth of an ounce lead and four pound line on the canal. I've got a cage feed that's 20 grams open, of course, at both ends, and I'm plugging it with fairly soft breadcrumb uh, and red maggots in the middle. So that'll go down to the bottom. You count it down, you then tighten up and of course the maggots will come out with the crumb and then I've got a bead and a swivel on this occasion and the hook length is uh, five pound Drennan Team England and the business end you can see there Drennan super specialist size 8 micro barbed hook worm on there and as I've said red maggots and brown crumb in the cage feeder as always simple setup but as you can see it's working today.